Okay, welcome to Weekly Sewing Bee. My name's Fiona and today I am going to make a bag stuffer for the car. Um, what I mean by bag stuffer is uh, I live in a country that sort of, oh, the polythene bags, honestly. Um, it's got to stop. Uh, everywhere you go you get polythene bags and um, what do you do with them? So basically I have got quite a large piece of this lovely lovely zebra um, cotton and it is just cotton I thought about I, I you know I did actually think about buying some material for this maybe something um, canvasy or something but um, I thought no I'll just make it out of a scrap and if I need to replace it because it's filthy or if it's not working because it's too small or too big, then um, that's what I will do. Okay, so I've cut one long strip off. This is an optional extra. This is um, the, this is because I'm making it for my own car. And um, I've got some um, elastic here, and you will need elastic for this project. And I am just going to make the strip that's like the handle. Now I'm going to sew this through. The only reason I'm going to sew this on is so that it, it doesn't come out because there would be nothing more annoying. <clears throat> so, you know, that's just, uh, I've sewn it through for my own benefit. I've done this before you see and um, you've got this piece of elastic and it it just disappears and you're like oh so I've just done that now I'm not putting the elastic in the center or I can put the elastic in the center okay you don't need to put the elastic in the center the reason I'm putting it in the center is because it's going to make this easier to turn inside out okay uh, this is just literally a straight running stitch. I'm trying, well, I am succeeding, but I'm not sewing over the elastic. I'm literally making sure that I push it out of the way, but it's going to make turning this strip inside out so much easier. And, um, Lovely. So I'm going to fold it over just to get it started and then it is a matter of pulling the elastic out and pulling this down. And there's no easy way to do this. I know people that can do it really well with knitting needles. Um, my hat's off to them because I can't. And um, yeah, so I've pulled all the elastic through. I've put a couple of stitches in there. It probably isn't that strong. And um, I'm just going to slide this over the top. So you can see it gives an interesting technique, don't you? Nice little ruffles. And I can do that off camera, can't I? Yeah, that would be better. So yeah, I'll get it going anyway, and then I'll, I'll do the big roof at the end because it's good fun. So with my rectangle of cloth, I need to just do a fold over hem on both of the ends, okay? So, now this is the shorter side of the rectangle. And there we go. If you just crease it with your thumb, it should be fine. That's the nice thing about cotton, is it's just so easy to sew. And it comes in such great colours. So lovely. That's that. I'm folding over again. I'm going to get it underneath the sewing machine so I can use the sewing machine as like a third hand and then roll it again. Two bits of 
bits of elastic. I'm I'm really lucky. <laughs> Life is kind. Okay. Now this is a great technique and you can use it for all sorts of things. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie a piece of elastic on the cotton, uh, probably an inch, maybe an inch and a half. I'm going to give it a couple of stitches and then I'm going to stretch it out so that it's taut and then I'm going to literally sew over the top. I just get this going. Obviously this is quite lightweight material so it just needs a bit of help starting up there. Maybe a bit of help. And it's good if you can do it this way because of um, you can get to the point where you curl up. So I kept it tight with both hands, I can let it go now. And I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm not cutting it straight off in flush with the cloth, I need um, probably half an inch just to um, make sure it's all straight when I've finished. I'm going to do the same again on the other short side of the rectangle. Now I must admit the machine doesn't like doing this, okay, but the machine is more than capable of doing this. trying to keep it straight. <coughs> so I can just trim that off. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm literally going to sew it into a tube but this is where I need this. I'm going to do it all in one sew. Um, I just think it'll be so much easier. I might, sometimes these go really quickly and they, they just go and sometimes they don't. But I did have a pair of blunt scissors at one point and that, that helped push it all out. Okay, I'm going to switch camera off. I'm not going to waste your time with you sitting there watching me do this. But hopefully it'll pop out as soon as I switch it off. I'm really disappointed. Sometimes um, they go with a dramatic flourish and sometimes they don't and it didn't today. <laughs> you know what I'm going to be doing next time I get a spare half an hour? <laughs> I'm going to be going. <laughs> I make ten videos and then one of them has a dramatic flourish. Okay, so I've got my strip of cloth and yes, you can use ribbon or anything else you like. Um, I'm, I'm, I decided to use that because I thought, well, I know, I know I have it. Now what I want to do is I want to sew a, literally a straight line along the long side of the rectangle. I've put my strip of cloth in the centre and I'm going to join it when I join the elastic. Now, yeah, because we've put the pucker in the elastic already, it's not going to be an easy, easy sew. Because it, it's already sort of gone into a sort of triangular shape. But we're going to try and make the best of it, aren't we? Now, I've got the strip of fabric and I'm just sewing over it and I'm sewing over the elastic. And then I'm just going to line up the non-elasticated bubbly bit. I'm coming to the other elasticated bit so. and then I'm going to put the strap over and I'm going to sew all the bits. There we go, push them under the foot. And what's probably a good idea is uh, I'm going to turn this over and if I haven't got all all the bits, because um, there's going to be a few, isn't there? Um, I'm just going to re-sew it. Um, I'm going to assume that the bottom bit of elastic has pinged out. I'm not even going to act that upset about it. So, because that's where it's going to go. 
Now, it's a simple matter of turning this inside out, taking a few minutes just to get all our bits of cotton off, which has to be done, and then a few minutes grabbing some bags. Are you in shock? <laughs> I'm not scratching or anything, I'm literally. <laughs> and there we go. We have a bag stuffer for the car. So whenever you need a bag, you have one. It's got a strap where I can hang it over the back of the rear seat headrest so that I can always find it. And um it's always going to be there and if it's there I'm going to use them if it's not there then I'm going to get more of these annoying shopping bags so thank you ever so much for watching recycling is good recycling is good don't forget to like and subscribe I need all the help I can get now I've started out doing this and um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to catch you again looks like a sweetie Alright, thank you ever so much for watching.